Which cor- which uh, player that you saw in person um, this year in the booth in college football that's at the that's available in this year's draft is somebody that you say to any GM any anybody who would ask you pick your brain say that kid's that it doesn't matter for need you you take that kid I like the motor I like the the person I like the heart I like the way that I saw him play I saw the way he took over a game is there anybody like that RG three Yeah, Rich I would say for me. It's B. John Robinson. Um, you know, I said this on ESPN. You know, his name is of Persian descent uh, when his mom named him, and it means hero. But every defense that he faced thought that he was the villain. And I had an opportunity to call two of his games. I know the running back position has been devalued in the NFL um, just because, you know, first five years of the guy's career running the ball put a lot of tread on the tires, hmm. but at the end of the day, if you can get it back like Bijan Robinson, who can essentially do everything that you need a running back to do and a slot receiver to do, and he can do it at an all pro level. That's a guy that you go out and you draft in the top 10, top 15, top 20. And you don't think twice about it. Uh, the kid's special, great person off the field, uh, phenomenal competitor on the field. And I don't think there's a back uh, in the league really like him right now who can kind of do all of the things that he can do. I know many people will point to Christian McCaffrey, uh, but I think he's got an even higher ceiling than that because he can tote the rock 35 times a game if you need him to. So let me just throw some teams out for that supposition here. Cause again, you have to under you, you and, and, and I'd like you to, when you give your answer, think about the needs and where they are in the, in the scheme yep. of things. Um, if you're Detroit at six, do you, do you go get him? Bijan at six? Ooh. What do you think? I think if you at, at Detroit at six, you have to think about it. Right. Now, some people will say that's blasphemous, but just imagine partnering him with the rest of the weapons that right. they have. Yeah. How, how how much better of a quarterback Jared Goff is now going to become. They got Montgomery. Because... They did get Montgomery in free agency, but I'm just one. You know, I, I throw that out there. There's Atlanta at eight. You know how, how certainly since then we're going to talk about Lamar Jackson shortly, you know, they clearly are not going in that direction. Right. Just got, but they're, they're a run team. You got the Bears at nine and then the Eagles at 10. W- which one do you think w- jumps out at you? You think they should go get him, if not all of them, you know? Listen, Robert. I think all of these teams should consider him. But when you when you talk about a back like Bijan, it also depends on where you are as a team. Yeah. So to me, the, the most realistic spot for him would be the Eagles at 10 because they don't have quite as many holes on the rest of their roster. Yes, I know they lost a lot of starters. They lost six starters this offseason. But if they could put a guy like Bijan in and have him and Rashad Penny uh, as a one-two combo with Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, you know, with that offensive line, that's a team that I say, I mean, I, I would really contemplate doing it because if the Eagles don't do it, I do believe the Cowboys will find a way to move up and go get him. There's just there's, the Cowboys need him. I feel like more than the Eagles do. Yeah. But they also just got rid of Ezekiel Elliott. They got Tony Pollard coming off of an injury. And don't you think for a second that Jerry Jones doesn't realize that this man's just down the street, right? Right. And the, and the fandom that that's going to bring to the to the star. Oh yeah. So I would look at those two teams, the Eagles and the Cowboys, as teams that could go out and get Bijan, and he could help push them over the edge. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.